Hey, what is the difference between a part and a part? And do you know the difference between accept and accept? If no, then this video is only for you guys. Because in today's video, we will study about such confusing words what we call homonyms. First of all, let's see the definition of homonyms. Homonyms are the words that are spelled and pronounced like another word but is different in meaning. The first difference is between accept and accept. So the first accept is written here which means to receive something or to agree on something. For example, India accepted its defeat at the hands of Australia. And the second accept is to take or leave out. For example, all the children were given a share in the property except Rohit Sharma. Now the second already versus already. So the first already which means prepared. The lunch was already when the guest arrived. And the second already is by this time. For example, the lunch was already smelling bad when the guest arrived. The next difference is altogether versus altogether. Altogether which means entirely. For example, altogether the, I thought that the student's presentation was well planned. And the next altogether which means gathered or with everything in one place. For example, we were all together at the family reunion last spring. The next difference is between apart and apart. First apart is to be separated. For example, the chain link fence kept the angry dogs apart. And the next, there's also one more example. My old car fell apart before we reached California. And the second apart which means to be joined with. For example, the new course was a part of new field of study at the university. There is another one example is. A part of this plan involves getting started at dawn. The next difference is ascent versus ascent. So the first ascent which means climb or upward movement or moving to a higher degree or state. For example, the plane's ascents made me hear pops. And the second ascent which means agreement. An example for this is the Martian ascended to undergo experiment. Now the next difference is between breathe and breath. So the first breath which means air inhaled or exhaled. For example, you could see his breath in the cold air. And the second breathe is to inhale or exhale. You can see the difference that the first breath is a noun and the second breathe is a verb. And the example for breathe is if you don't breathe then you are dead. So the next difference is between complement and complement. The first complement which means something that completes you. Something that completes. So the example for this a nice try white wine complete so seafood entry and the next compliment which means to praise for example the professor complimented betty on her proper use of a comma so the last is conscience versus conscious so the conscience which means a sense of right or wrong for example, the student's conscience kept him from cheating on the exam. And the second conscious which means awake. For example, I was conscious when the burglar entered the house. That's it for today. And if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to View Values and don't forget to like the videos. I will make more videos on homonyms. And that's it. Thank you.